What's going on guys? Me, David here, back for another shave. Man, I I'll tell you. <sighs> I've been struggling a little bit to find the motivation to do the videos. Again, I love doing the videos. But just everything that's been going on, man, it's just... It's been, it's been weird. It's been really, really weird. I've kind of been struggling to find motivation to do most things. And I kind of have to just shake it off, you know. Uh, you know, just kind of press on forward. And, you know, here I am, dude. I, I need to shave... Uh, I'm probably about three days later than my normal like video schedule. So I got to try to get back on track here, regardless of how uh, weird things have been over the last month or so, dude. But we're going to get into it. I need a shave. I'm getting itchy. Everything's getting a little unruly. It's time to go. So right here, Razor Rock Blue Label is a cool and clean barbershop scent, which is pretty much exactly how I would subscribe, you know, describe this damn thing. So pretty good. But the real focus of today is actually going to be this baby right here. The fine, what was it, Marvel? I believe it's the fine Marvel. Yeah, the fine Marvel three-piece razor. This was sent to me by the homie uh, Sefferton Shaves. He wanted to see my thoughts on some safety razors. So I'm going to mix them in. Um, Yeah. I'm going to mix in a few BE shaves over the next uh, couple weeks or so. Uh, get these these tested in a second. Send them back to him because I've had him for a while. He's been super patient. He don't trip. But, you know, I, I still feel bad having this stuff for so long. So, I'm going to go and get that. I know that I've got a long hair again. All right. So, I got a fresh Persona Lab Blue in this baby. And we're going to roll with that one. Got the Wild West uh, Brushworks going in. And we're going to load this up. I'm going to take out the puck. So... This puck kind of jiggles around inside of that little container. So it's really not convenient to load from that thing. So I'm going to take it out. This is a triple melt soap. I think it cost me like eight bucks for four bucks. So there's literally no better deal in wet shaving than that. It is harder than Arco. It smells a whole lot better than Arco. Arco does perform very well though, but um, it doesn't get much cheaper than four triple mil uh, soaps for like eight bucks. It's that is dirt cheap. So we're gonna go to load up nice and heavy. I've only used this formula one other time, so I'm still not super familiar with it. Again, I don't want to have a bad shave, so I want to load nice and heavy. Get the most I can out of this damn thing. And make sure that this razor has a good chance. Uh, to shave well. There we go. I think that's looking pretty good right there. If I can't get a good lather out of that, I got some problems. So I'm going to go ahead and get all this proto lather. Bye, honey. I know. It is the morning. Bye, everyone. Russell says bye. Very rarely do I ever shave in the morning before work. But I just felt like I needed a kick to start this day a little bit better than I have been. So I decided I got up a little early. And I'm going to shave before I have to go to work. You know, see if I can't get myself out of this little funk. Fill up my cup with some hot water. And get into a face lather. Definitely need a bunch more water. I did a little heavy, and then that, that proto lather that I put on my face was very thick. So. I apologize to sweet baby Ray. Um, he's been wanting to get a, a straight razor off of me, dude. And just, uh, again, man, I've been in a little bit of a funk. No excuse. Got, got to kind of just toughen up. But been a little bit of a struggle. So I, I got to be better. I got to do better. Hopefully this shave will kickstart the day. And I'll be able to get some honing done. One good thing that went down recently, well, yesterday, we actually got to start conditioning again for softball. 
So we have a real good chance with the numbers dropping here of the Rona. We have a real good chance to, to have a season, which is super exciting. Um, I just, you know, I, I love being out in the field. Having the sun on your face and, and all that good stuff, it just felt nice. So let's go first pass with the uh, fine marvel. I hear it's a pretty mild shaver, which does not have a lot of blade exposure, which is translating to a mild feeling shave. But I think I should still at least be able to get a pretty good shave with it. Get all this. I don't know why I'm keeping the goatee. It's so, it's so unnecessary. But, you know, here I am. This thing is just long and very unruly. Doesn't look particularly good because it just grows kind of funny. But I just can't bring myself to fucking cut, to, to shave the damn thing. Well, not shave it. I'll never shave the goatee. But I can't bring myself to actually... Turn that thing down. I need to. Well, I just haven't. Talking to Shady about this razor, and he cannot get a good shave out of it. He he hates the razor. He actually he likes the handle, so he kept the handle. It was nice and heavy, uh, but he threw out the head. So I don't have. Any problem with it so far? It is my. I wouldn't say that it necessarily fits my preferences of a DE razor, but so far it's fine. All that creamy goodness that I had in the goatee. Force of habit drying my hands after rinsing. Really don't need to with the DE razor. I do like heavier razors, but I'm not super thrilled by this knurling. It's not slippery aesthetically. I don't find it very attractive. And it doesn't feel great in the hand. Like there's it's not that it's rigid, but I actually like feeling some real texture in knurling. That's my preference. And even though it's good enough to to make the razor not feel slippery, just is that it's not a satisfying feel. But again, that's just nitpicking from what I like my experience to be. Not not like it's a knock really against the the use or performance of it. So against the grain. I'm really not finding it, having any trouble finding the cutting angle. Not bad, not too shabby. Especially with this against the grain pass, it feels very easy and smooth using this razor. Do a little buffing on some of my thicker spot there. Cool. All right, I get a little bit of rinse and rinse going. So, man, just thank you, everybody that's been reaching out and uh, sympathizing or empathizing, um, you know, after my, my uh, Facebook Live. I really appreciate everybody just kind of, you know, 
understanding what it is to lose a pet. Well, at least those people that commented, I'm sure they understand. No, I never felt that way, like, when it came to, like, a bird or a lizard or a snake or anything that close. But anybody, I think, that has, like, their own dogs and felt that the, the unconditional love they give you kind of know uh, the feeling. So this Across the Grain Pass is my favorite pass. I will say with a razor that's as mild as this one. Well, at least it's mild feeling because it's been pretty efficient. It's been fine. I haven't had an issue with the efficiency. But that that lack of blade feel, that lack of blade exposure, is not as satisfying doing this pass. I'll tell you, that's comfortable. That is comfortable. As long as you're comfortable finding the angle, because it can be challenging finding the cutting angle. What a razor that has this mild feel. Also, because of the way that this is angled and it's the chrome, I find the top cap kind of sticking to my face. Not a huge fan of that. That's a kind of a rare experience for me. Or I feel the, the rays are sticking. And yeah, because of that head design and the finish, it's it's kind of dragging on my face sometimes, depending on the angle that I'm getting at, just the way it's contacting my skin. That's a little bit funny. Uh, I'll admit that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and rinse off, and we'll get into the final thoughts. All right, we're back. I'm going to go ahead and use some First Line Shave Blue Label. Haven't did the review on this soap yet, but it is here and it will get done. But this scent goes really well with this Blue Label Razor Rock. Love the scent, so we're going to go with it. And again, I'll get into that when I do the review for that shave, that shave soap. So... My thoughts on the Razor Rock Marble. Inexpensive, heavyweight, reasonably good fit and finish. The head design is definitely not my favorite. I did have some dragging and some like sticking on my skin, depending on the angle, what area I was, you know, because obviously the angle of your skin changes uh, depending on where you're at on, on it. So um, it gets a little wonky sometimes when it starts to actually like stick this, uh, this heavy, this heavy dip right there, let's see. That's the portion that's getting stuck right there. And with that that lesser blade exposure, that less blade feel, the, the, the angle can get lost in terms of what you're cutting. Once you find the angle and you're comfortable keeping that angle, it's, it's as efficient of a shave as anything else. Again, it does not feel aggressive. It feels comfortable. Because of that lesser blade feel, you do feel confident. You don't feel like you're going to cut yourself. It's kind of like a, um, a real mindless autopilot shave. But I can't imagine. It does take a little bit of practice because of this, this head design and the exposure not being great. It, it feels mild, but it gets the job done. I have a good shave. I definitely not gonna complain in terms of the final result. It just, again, I don't like this learning. Not very attractive to me. Right now that my hands are a little bit wet, it, it, it could feel a little bit slippery. Um, so I would have preferred something else be done. And it's just not the most attractive razor. It, it just, just my opinion. It, it's a little bit, uh, I don't know, it's just a little wonky in general for me, but for the price, if you don't need anything super aggressive, it's it's a, it's a situation that can work. I could definitely use this regularly and get great shaves from, because again, today, that's a good shave. Flat out, the end result's great. The user experience is just, eh, doesn't feel special, but it feels fine. It feels just fine, <laughs> figures fine, comes out with a fine razor. Um, yeah, nothing to write home uh, about, but gets the job done, not expensive, and it's a nice entry point if you want one of those heavier uh, razors before you start getting into the expensive stainless steel stuff. So that, that's it for me, guys, and Razor Rock Blue Label.
I've said it before with these triple mill soaps. They're, they're fucking nice. Great deal. Don't get much better than that. Eight bucks for four bucks. It's a no-brainer for me. It's a no-brainer any day of the week. So, hey, guys. If you made it to this point of the video, you know how much I appreciate you. Um, to my boys that um, I talk to every day, you know who you are, man. I love you guys so much. Uh, our conversations throughout the day um, has kind of really kept me going during, a, again, just a really tough week for me. And then everybody here on the channel that has reached out, commented, thank you. Love y'all too, man. Um, the community is great. You guys have been great to me. And just, I appreciate you guys so much, man. So, hey, it's a crazy world. Take care of one another. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'll catch you in the next shave.